Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Kamari Valentine. I'm a clinical psychologist registered in New Zealand, and I'm making this video to talk about the mindfulness-inspired card deck that I recently released. I made these cards because what I found was that people benefited from having something written down. And over my almost two decades in practice, I have some techniques, um, some strategies, and so on, that I have found useful for both myself as well as my clients. Seven years ago, I started releasing audio tracks in the form of CDs, which now we no longer use. But these audio tracks are available on Spotify, iTunes, um, Google Play, and so on. And what I found, though, was that in addition to listening to the audio, people wanted to have something with a reminder to use those audios or to use other related techniques. What I found in my practice was even the act of carrying around a reminder, a cue card with a wee note about what to do, was useful even if people didn't look at the note. Of course, if you look at the note and do what is written there, that's also useful. So let me talk about the different cards making up this card deck. They're colored uh, with, a, with a color that speaks to the type of card that's involved. So pink cards or light pink cards are about connecting with our body. Often when we're in distress or overwhelmed or we have experienced trauma, we are not actually present in our bodies. We don't notice physical sensations that have happened or we no longer trust being in our body. And so the light pink cards remind us about ways to connect with being physically present, with being in our body and knowing that it is safe to be in our body. The hot pink cards, one of my favorite colors, the hot pink cards are affirmations. What I've noticed is that when people use positive affirmations, like super positive affirmations, this can work temporarily, but it has the effect of being very invalidating. So when you're not feeling very good, or when feelings of overwhelm, feelings from the past appear, and you're triggered, and somebody, including yourself, says, you just need to be positive, it is extremely invalidating and actually feeds into that inner critic. So my affirmations are more neutral and they're designed to help you connect with that healthy adult part of you, as well as to help bring you into the present moment, connected with your resources and wisdom. The maroon cards are, are cards that I found hard to classify. They typically speak to a technique. Um, or something that I've found useful. They can include some energy psychology techniques. The green cards are about uh, connecting with parts of us. So let me talk a little bit about this. We all have parts to who we are. That doesn't mean we have multiple personality disorder, but rather that the self is complex. We all have collections of memories and experiences that are connected together. We have experiences, for example, of being very vulnerable, small, lonely, ashamed, and so on. And the collection of these memories make up a vulnerable child part. Wherever there's a vulnerable child, there is also likely to be a critic and in a part of us that puts us down, that is critical and criticizing. And this part might have the same voices as others in our past who have been critical and put us down 
and perhaps not cheered us on as we deserve to be cheered on. So these parts exist and try their best to protect you. But what might have worked for you in the past when you didn't have options might not work for you as an adult with options. And so the aim of the green cards is to help you connect with the parts within you, but especially to heal and care for that vulnerable child part. The white cards have a more classical mindfulness uh, teaching behind them. Um, these involve uh, teachings such as being in the present moment, stepping back from thoughts, being in the here and now. These cards are the minority cards in my card deck because what I find is that when people are focusing on being mindful in a more intellectual way, they aren't necessarily connected with their body and aren't necessarily compassionately in the present moment. So I have included some aspects that I think are useful for developing a more self-compassionate, more present, more intentional way of connecting with ourselves. But I have tried to minimize these. And the, the biggest number of cards actually come from the, uh, the affirmations. So let me give you examples of these cards. So in the light pink, the body connection cards, we have allow more air into your body. And typically when I ask people to do this, I ask people to drop their shoulders down and back and just allow more air in, bringing your awareness to the breath coming in. An example of a hot pink card is I am allowed to have boundaries to protect my energy. One way that I think people can use these cards is not just to follow what is on the card, but also to journal what comes up as you use these cards. So as you read the phrase, I'm allowed to have boundaries to protect my energy, I'm curious, what comes up for you? What do you notice? What parts surface? What beliefs come up? What stories come up in your mind? An example of a maroon card is place your kind hands on your heart. And you might have um, heard me do this exercise in a podcast. We can do that exercise by becoming aware of our hands filling them with kindness and placing them on our heart or another part of us that needs that connection with being loving, being intentional, and connecting with ourselves. An example of a green card is to write down the story of a past self. So. A past self might be a past memory. For example, a time when you felt very vulnerable. And in journaling that, what I'd like to invite you to do is to write that, allowing that memory to speak without censoring it, without um, that critic being present, really giving that part a voice. Now, if you would like some tips about uh, journaling, with a, with a reflective view rather than a ruminative view or an overthinking or brooding view, I have a, um, I have a short video about that and I will do my best uh, to link it in the description. An example of a white card, a 
just checking um, that you can see that is to really taste something as if you were tasting it for the first time, really bringing your attention to that sensation of taste, reminding us that so much of what we do is on automatic. Okay, so there you have it. Um, there are 90 cards in my card deck. You can order this by going to www.kamarivalentine.com. When, um, when you do, you, can also, you also have the option of ordering in a bundle of four uh, because the, coast, the postage cost, sorry, for one bundle is the same as uh, four bundles and you get a bundle discount. So there are 90 cards and like I say, across five different um, categories. So I would love to hear how you are finding using these cards, whether you have any questions or whether there are some techniques I might be able to share about how you use them. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care and talk soon.